All right, so let's look at knowledge check 11.7.1. And again, we're using the transactions data from complete journey. And we need to go ahead and let's load the plier. All right, the first to do is create a new column, total discount, that is the sum of all discounts applied to each transaction. So if we look at uh, our transactions data, and let's go ahead and just do glimpse, we see that we have several of these different discount columns. And these are just the different discounts that could get applied um, at the transaction at the time of checkout. And we can see here that we want to create a new column. Um, so to create a new column, we know we use mutate. And you could literally take this code I provided or this verbiage here where we want to create a column called total discount that is equal to coupon discount, which is this column, plus retail discount, plus coupon match discount. And if I run that, what we'll see if we kind of scroll over to the end of our data frame uh, is that we've added a new column, total discount. And we can see these are the total discounts applied to each of our transactions. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to save that. So transactions. So I've added that new column. Now it says create a new column discount to sales. It computes the ratio of total discount to total sales value. So what we're going to do here is take transactions. And we, again, we want to create a new column. So mutate. And our new column is disk to sales and that's going to equal literally the total discount column we just created by sales value. So if we run this and again scroll over to the end, we see we have discount to sales, which is a function of total discount divided by sales value. So let's go ahead. I'm going to save this. And the last thing is using the results from two, create a new column bins that bins the discount to sales column into 10 bins. Filter for those transactions with the highest uh, discount to sales. So let's go with transactions. And I'm going to mutate. And um, we're going to call this bins. And to bin, you can use this function called ntile. And we're going to go ahead and bin disk to sales and the number of bins we want to use is 10. If we run that, we can scroll over and we see that basically based off the value, um, the magnitude of the value, it will bin it into 10 different bins. And we can go ahead now and, tr and we want to filter for where um, the highest discount to sales ratio, which is bin 10. So I'm going to go ahead and filter for bin equals 10. Whoops, let's use the right name. And now we see all our bins are equal to 10. 